Hello everyone, in the last video you see that how we can use Jupyter Notebook in Microsoft Azure Notebook and we can run the Python code for a simple classification problem there. So now uh, I'm going to actually to use that one in Power BI desktop. So what I need to do, so first of all I need to install one version of the Python on my computer so what i need to do just search for python and you just go to the uh, python website and under the download so i just download the latest version so that's the latest version that the uh, python has and i'm just going down and find the for the windows one so i i install this one that's actually so you can use any of them so when you install after that so you will if you search for python you will see the python environment here so like this but uh, also you're able to access to the from the command prompt to the python and to install the what you want actually here so before i'm going to do that i'm just going to uh, so I'm going to the file options and option and setting and option. And after installing the Python, if you go to the option under the Python, you should see the version of the Python that you have here. And I don't have any actually dot uh, visual studio or other R Python studio. So if I have, I can see under detected the Python ID. So that means that I, it's safe and I can run Python. But still, uh, for some of the comments, if you remember from what we have on the Jupyter notebook that actually, just back to the one. So here you remember that we need to install some of the packages, some of the libraries that we need, like the the one that is really helpful is Panda one, or for Azure ML if you want to use, or for the test and training we need Skillern and the other one. So you need to install them uh, before that, and you can use the command prompt. I will show you that how it's processed. So to this scenario, I'm going to follow the same thing. So I'm going to the edit query and I'm going to import the data that I'm have for Titanic okay so I'm going to get the data so the data is a CSV file uh, it was about the Titanic problems so I'm just going to bring the data here so here instead of doing uh, you remember that for uh, refining the data i use python code so for example i want to see the heads of the data i want to drop the columns and the other now i'm going to actually to use uh, power bi to do that so just need to remove the other columns so remove other columns i don't want them i want to remove that one so if you remember we use drop na to remove that but here we can easily do that also if you remember we uh, have to replace we define a gender that we want to put it at a zero and one so here i'm simply I use a very simple approach or better approach to doing that but just for now saying that I want to replace female with one on that one and I want to replace male with zero so that's a kind of the data transformation I'm going to do so this is my data that I have so also I'm going to convert it to the whole number so these are the data that I have and I'm going to apply the same algorithm so you see that totally I have 714 rows and four columns here so this is the data that I have also if you want to see the column distribution and everything you can see here column profile so for the each of them you can see that how's the data is there how many distinct value we have and how is the data distribution and also the column quality is there is something empty happen and any error and the other thing so that's the one so I just uh kind of remove the one so i kind of know the data for this approach to apply i'm going to use the transform and go to the run python 
script so this is a place that i can actually run same as the r1 you can actually write your code over here so but before i start i need to install some of the package there i'm already installed but because uh, actually you may actually want to install some of them what you need to do is just write pi m for example i want to install a package name install azure ml so here i can easily install a package that is azure ml because i'm already installed it so it's going to install or any other package just go to the command prompt uh, pi uh, dash m pipe install and the name of the library and package that you want so i'm already installed them i'm already installed all of them so the list of the package that i need for this scenario is so is um uh, one of them is skiller model selection that's for split and training so this one and also the other one that i need is the, another one that is decision uh, tree classifier i also need that one so you need to import that one uh, so they are part of the skiller and also panda so of course i need panda for data transformation so you see that actually i do most of the data transformation using power bi so what i'm going to do i'm going to import this and then uh, i'm going to import the packages that i need so on the power bi here i'm going to put the code so i'm already import them but here i'm just refer to them in the second step i'm going so here if you remember from the what we have here is a data set holds the input. So here I'm going to set that I want to put my data set, uh, the column for the, the label that actually I want to use for prediction is survive column. So I want to put the survive column on the in the Y axis and the rest that is actually about the columns that I'm going to help them to predict the survive column. I want to put them in the X variable so here i use the command drop so to drop the survive and keep the other ones in the x axis so these are the two now i'm going to use uh, uh, the one that i'm used for the function that we have in python for training and testing so always x just store p class 6 and age of people and y actually store the survive so when i have x train and x test that actually both of them just store these three columns for training and testing and y train just store the survive and the y test through that so here you can specify the, this is a function view so it's get the label that we are going to target that is y column and also the value that we are going to predict here you specify how many rows of the data we want for training and testing and the same as the other one that we have so i'm going to use the uh, actually the other package and library we have for the decision tree classifier and i will call the algorithm so these are the call and store it into the variable clf and also i'm going to pass the training and test data set to clf to train the model and then use the function predict and pass the test data to test and get their result finally uh, because the result so if i push okay here you will see that if it's your first time you're running you will get a command you will get an error like uh, is your first time you run and is ask ask about the access the python code to your data so you should make sure to provide that otherwise you should see this you see here i couldn't see the result here i couldn't see the result that actually is stored into the variable y pre because this one is array and the same as the r if you work with r before you remember if it's not data frame we couldn't see here so i need to use the same technique that i use for r i need to convert the result as a uh, y pred to the uh, actually data frame format using the panda uh, actually library so i use the data frame i call it as a prediction column and i convert it to that so it will be a store on the variable there so now instead of the four output i should have five output now so 
here I can easily said yeah add as a separate one so this is the prediction column that I have the other one it was the prediction for the test so I can also right click and add it as a new query now I'm easily able to merge them and append actually them together so you can kind of uh, easily combine these two table together based on the uh, kind of the merge them to each other and see that how it works so these are the real data that we have and this is actually the prediction result we have so if you look at the bottom we have 143 rows and here also we have 103 rows to merge them is actually so easy you can easily add the index start from for example zero for both of them and then merge the two data set together so it's kind of very easy so I just put that one together and you can merge or in the python you can actually use the code to combine them together so it's not really kind of the very uh, thing so said so that yeah i want to merge query merge query based on the index and so you will see that is able to find 103 rows of the data and if you merge it you will get the all of the data as a table here so i specify i want this 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 and here you are so these are the very simple way of the using the python inside power bi you see that actually how it can be kind of easy to doing that so uh, i think so i made a mistake i just need to set i want this and this and this not the index and vice versa so it's actually you see that how it's actually easy to run the python code over there and uh, you can easily kind of work with that and see the result of the prediction very easily with the help of power bi so you can use power bi for data transformation whatever you like and just apply the algorithm over here yeah it's a small rows of the data but again it shouldn't be a problem for the big amount of the data maybe more time to run it thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it in next videos i hope to show you the automated machine learning in power bi desktop